Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Conquer Live and Reloaded by Hammer Bro Mike. This is episode 11, and it features the ninth and final chapter, Heist. And to start things off, we're going to get this last bit of cash that I wanted to save for the end. Specifically for one reason only. Hey, I'm here. Hurry up. Pick me up, head. Excellent. Jetpacks and bullets. Here we come. I left that money alone specifically so you could see that. It's a weird glitch. I don't know how it happens, but it only happens around that point or at night. Whoa. Yikes. A little ironic, don't you think? <laughs> Poor Queen Bee. Anyway, so, seems the windmill got destroyed somehow. I wonder how that could have happened. So, we're gonna make it up to the top of the, the hill and see what really caused this. Oh, no. Where did the windmill go? And I was sure that was the final level. Oh well, obviously not. Ah, oh, Rodan! Rodan! Hey, it's good to see you, man! What happened? Uh, oh, a bit sore, but you know what? I reckon that that suit really works. I was flying through the air. Next thing is, bam! I saw this thing coming towards me. Kind of like a windmill. Um, doesn't seem to be there anymore. Oh well. Never mind. At least I'm still here. So, what's happening? Um, I'm not really sure. But, um, the war seems to be over. You might as well go on your way. Give my regards to the guys. Yeah, I will. Catch you later. Catch you later. You can buy me a pet. Okay. Conquer. Can I just say something? <sighs> yes, that depends what it is. It was a real privilege. Working with you, and I would have to think that if ever I need to go on an operation such as that again, I hope that it's with you. Oh, well, that's, that's very nice of you to say, though. I, thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, soldier. Um, dismissed. <laughs> what a great guy. <sighs> Idiot. I bet you always wondered what would be inside the windmill, right? Well, spiral staircase going down, and... Yes! We've made it to the other side! Whoa! I thought I told you to leave town. But seeing as you're here, anyways, we may have a little job for you. Oh, not another one. Look, can I just go home, please? I said... We may have a little job. Take it or leave it. Okay, I'll take it. Like, these pants are so uncomfortable. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Oh, Barry. <laughs> you look great. Really? I thought you said you didn't know this guy. Oh, yeah, I know him. He's like my boyfriend. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm her boyfriend. Am I interrupting something here? When you two little lovebirds are finished with your reunion tata tate maybe we can get on with the job at hand, please? Okay, okay. What do you want us to do? Okay. Since your little escapades with those cavemen kind of put me out of business. Now I need to replenish my funds. Here we have it. The Feral Reserve Bank. Hmm. Okay. But I'll do it on one condition only. What? That I get an outfit that's as cool as hers. Hmm. Deal.
I suppose now we can really start the final chapter. Aw, but I still like to conquer his original outfit. Damn you, Don Weasel. Let's go. I'm guessing that you had a feeling that once you've seen the outfits that this sort of style scenario would be happening. Anyway, so pretty much your goal here is to get through each portion of the bank by killing the weasel guards. Just killing weasels in slow motion. So now, Barry will use her unexpected jumping capabilities to jump over the force field somehow. And then she deactivates it. And then you can progress to the next spot. And, like, they, they don't even shoot at... Well, they do shoot at Barry, but she doesn't even do anything at all. She's just sort of running back and forth, and you have to do all the work for some reason. Why that is, I don't know. But you're pretty much doing the same thing over and over. Nothing new. You know, so you're just killing these guys, and... For each stage, well, I wouldn't say stage. Well, maybe stage. Whatever. For each portion, more and more of the weasel guards will appear. So, well, yeah. And as we see even more of this parody draw out, we just keep doing the same. Man, I, I think I've said keep doing the same thing many times, but that's pretty much all you do. So, so we just. Kill more weasels in slow motion because killing them in slow motion. Getting one shot on them in slow motion kills them instantly. But if you were to shoot in real time, they wouldn't die so quickly. So, in a sense, it's like. It doesn't even matter which you do. You could shoot normally. Or you could shoot in slow motion. But it's better to shoot in slow motion. Mainly because of, well... You kill them in one hit and you don't risk... And you're less likely to get hurt. Though they... At the later stages here, they will manage to hit you in slow motion. So you pretty much have to shoot them before they shoot you. And that's really all there is to it. Give me a break. Don't worry, it's in hand, okay?
Yeah, you're one in a million. Speaking of which... Well, now that that's over, we can check out this golden globe thingy with a chunk out of it. Well, now that the vault door is open, we can go inside and see what's in there. Hmm, I wonder what could be in there. Let's go find it.